Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Monday, October 7th, 2024. So uh, we actually saw some some pretty good selling today, but in the overall bigger picture, um, we're really just trading within this range. Uh, we keep getting a bunch of false breakouts and then we're coming down, then we're getting false breakdowns and heading up. So this is really the range. We have the, uh, the gamma lines at the 5750, 5700. Um, and, and that's really what, where we've been trading on this. So uh, last night, I had said that we had some sell signals on the 15-minute charts. So, uh, you know, I was expecting some backing and filling. This one, you know, I didn't think we were coming all the way down to these levels, but you know here we are on it so we don't really have any buy signals here so if, if the bears are going to come down they really need to get it through i i mean this is the range but i i think they're going to have to get it through this uh 50 uh 56 73 and then come up and use it as resistance and come back down and that would that's where i would be more willing to say all right we're we're all set with the the wave five and now we should be doing uh you know really the, the pullback that should take us uh i'm i'm like i said i'm thinking we could have easily a five or, or even a, a 10 percent uh correction heading into these elections i just think it's a it's normally what happens uh you know we get anywhere from a four or five percent pullback during an election year um this one wouldn't surprise me but you can see the support is right at the uh the, the 5650 level that's this support here as well as the moving average so this is the next important line that the that the bears are need to get it through and that's it's going to be right here at the at the right around that 56 to 34 level if they do that that's when i'm starting to anticipate that we're going to be coming down into the 55 50 and and most likely coming down and I, I like i said i would not be surprised to see us testing these lows down here um it's not it's not guaranteed it's going to happen but it would it would make perfect sense with it so but like i said right now we really are just trading within a range so we had sell signals we're, we're on a sell signal with the arun you can see we're pretty overbought here so if the bulls can get it above the 5705 then look for them to take a make a, a test of this uh the state of 5725 maybe even 5738 the bears if they get it through this 5686 they're gonna have to get it through this 5672 but then deal with this really the the important support at the uh at the 5633 level and if they get through that that's when i think we'll start to see selling um really start to accept, accelerate on the downside so let's see what plays out tomorrow keep this simple um we did pretty good with the fund today you see we made uh 3 uh 2.64 percent so overall decent day um it, it's really the strategy i've been using and, and I'll, I'll let you guys know is i just been really I've been going, I, I, held, I have, a, I wrote a, a Condor trade uh, going into tomorrow. So I bought it today, tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow. And on Friday, I did it for Monday, for today. And basically, really, the route, what I'm doing is, I'm just, they're, they're extreme uh, out of the money. So it's not a big premium that I'm collecting. But the, the, it, the odds of me getting stopped out or or uh losing money is it's not it's, it's a it's a high probability that it, it's not going to do that so i i wrote the 55 hang on one second okay so so this was what i wrote on uh, uh this was on friday that i did this and you can see it, 57 80 50, uh, 7, 90 was the call spread and then 56 50 56 40 was the put spread so it we had to have a, an enormous either up day or down day uh today to to really for that to lose money and you can see hang on okay so this is what i what i held on for tomorrow so i have the uh the do 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 the eighth right here i just did actually i just did a uh a put uh, position on this so I sold actually no I did them right here uh, 5790 50 uh, 5780 5590 5600 so where we closed right at uh, 50 what are we at here uh, on the spy um, 
of this. So so we closed right at 5,700. So we're going to, you know, for me to lose on this, I, it's going to have to gap up 100 points or gap down 100 points. Because uh, during the day, if it's going, I'm just going to put the, the break-even stop in place. But I, I never really liked holding them overnight just because of the odds, the, the chance of it getting, uh, you know, seeing a big gap down or a gap up. But when you're putting it 100 points out of the money, I mean, you don't get a whole lot of premium for them. But what I've been doing, because I have, the, you know, the fund on it, is that I'm buying a lot more. and Well, I'm using a lot more contracts for it. But it's it could work the same, but you can you know make an extra five hundred bucks or whatever a day if you want and have very very little stress whatsoever. So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.